for first question. Uh, how was in Israel yesterday? It was good. It was a lot of fun. I wound up uh, playing until almost seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was supposed to play like uh, maybe close to five o'clock, and you know me, I just kept going. And I knew that in the back of my head that uh, uh, you know I needed to get some rest because I have a big show tonight. But I couldn't oh. stop. I just kept going and going. Yesterday just. Uh, they are closing uh, half an hour earlier <laughs> in the witness um, pit yesterday. In yeah. Okay. Oh, second question. Not so long ago, was be, uh, was here playing extended set scream tour yeah. because of changing the date of the transmission. How do you like it? And um, uh, something special to tell about? Yeah, it was fantastic. You know, it was. Uh, I, um, I always love doing the extended sets because you can really kind of um, you know tell a tell a different story, and uh, that was the the thing that I remember that that I will remember the most about that uh, that gig. It wasn't you know a two hour. Um, here's all the tracks from the Scream album, blah blah blah. It was like really a lot of fun, and uh, and I think that uh, the cool thing was I think that people here uh, really got to hear me uh, you know go down the rabbit hole a little yeah, bit and see, yeah. So um, no, I, I, I love that, uh, and I, the people were there. They were right, right there with me the whole time. Yeah, about well, the back to back set. There are you and Koma just enjoying the party. Yeah, and you know, just it's dancing everything. That was a lot of fun. Oh. Um, I think that uh, any time that you can just kind of have somebody that you have some chemistry with. Uh, I know that Ferry Corsten and I have been doing back to backs. Yeah. Uh, Armin and yeah. I have done some back to backs. And when you have somebody who you know you can, you have some chemistry with and and you know you can vibe off of that makes yeah. it a lot of fun yeah thanks so three uh me and check around cannot imagine transmission without you you are like a like a fire of transmission and how do you like it um it's transmission something uh, more for you or, or no, uh, I, parties i love transmission because i think uh the it's the production um, you know, I, I always talk about the production at Transmission when I'm doing uh, other festivals and, and things all year long. I talk to people in interviews. I mention Transmission. So um, I, I think it's probably the, the best production. You know what I really like about it, too, is the fact that it's not like four or five stages. It's one stage with a massive production, and, and, and it's a captive audience, and, and you put on a great show, and you know that the, uh, uh, the production looks amazing. Amazing. So it really gives you confidence. Yeah. Many people from abroad uh, going there, to many, to many yeah. countries, like uh, so Lebanon <laughs> last year. The of Lebanon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's always great. And I think that's what I, that's what I love about Prague, especially. It's so centrally located that people come from all over the place. Yeah. Coming from Colorado, Denmark, <laughs> to, yeah. to, uh, to, to today. So. Today, uh, you know, Doug, Doug from to Korea yeah. uh, coming. So, yeah, there's <laughs> people, uh, even some people from <laughs> South America coming up for, for this tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, next question. Uh, you made the anthem for uh, ASL 600 with Armin. How do you get this? Um, no, well, uh, you know, we th as long as Armin and I have been friends, we've never really collaborated on a track. I remember there was a track on... Uh, um, on one of his albums that he came and he, he did in my studio and we worked together but we never had a track that we just like this is me and Armin together um, so uh, we decided like you know what uh, for, for the estate of trance it's a it's special milestone you know I've been uh, um, you know uh, supporting a state of trance uh, with uh, since since I don't even remember I think since before 200 probably <laughs> Uh, when he was doing the XL shows, so um, it was just very cool to uh, to collaborate, and at the same time, uh, you know, we we both kind of we speak the same the same language, you know, so uh, um, it's it's very easy um, to to work in the studio with somebody that speaks the same kind of studio language that you do. Great to see you guys together. <laughs> yeah. All right. So next session. Uh, uh, last year, you had a surprise for a Czech crowd, like a mashup or a silence. Do you have special something special? For oh, I have some. Yeah, yeah, I have yeah. some uh, different stuff uh, okay, this yeah, year yeah, as well. So I went the first one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, next question. Uh, let's see. Uh, you won the prize, the best American DJ, and I think you really deserve it. <laughs> and what does it mean for you? Well, uh, it's it's the voice of the fans that make things like that possible. So uh, for me, it's just. I do what I do for the fans, and, and I'm a fan as well of the music. So, um, you know, when, when the fans support me like this, uh, I'm very grateful. And, and um, you know, it's I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing uh, just 
because of the awards or, or you know, uh, uh, or do them for the awards. It's just, those are nice. It gives me confidence, uh, you know, but at the same time, it's like, um, it's back to business as usual, you know, let's, let's party and have a great time. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> so, uh, you, uh, on a New Year's Eve party in LA, you play 12 hours set or more or more. Yeah. So how you, how you get it this? How well, you, you know, it, it was something that I had planned for a long time. Yeah. And uh, I think it was probably the longest set I've ever done in my career. And I had so much fun. To be honest with you, uh, you know, I was still wound up uh, at the end of it. So, um, you know, and, and you plan it like three different DJs. You know, you do an opening set, your peak hour set, and then like rabbit hole no, set, yeah. you know. <laughs> So, uh, um, uh, yeah, I planned for it for a long, long time. So, uh, uh, I really had a great time. Uh, so, next question is, uh, uh, how did you get this nickname Unicorn Slayer? Oh, that was something that uh, came from the fans. Um, I remember somebody tweeted, uh, you know, Marcus Schultz is a unicorn slayer of trance, you know, because they, they say trance is rainbows and unicorns, you know. <laughs> and I thought it was funny, and I retweeted it, and then it just caught fire. And especially in the U.S., I mean, uh, here in Europe, uh, you know, in England and stuff, it's 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 catching up as well. Yeah. But in the U.S., you every time every gig that I do, you see people holding up unicorns, and they show up yeah. with the uh, with unicorn masks and T-shirts, and it's really really gotten to be uh, um, a, a big thing in in the U.S. especially. Mm -hmm. But uh, um, it'll be quite uh, funny when it starts uh, really catching on here in Europe as well. Yeah. I remember uh, in Budapest there was a guy with the unicorn like yeah. a balloon and you go, oh, that's a great thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, not this time, but the time before when I was playing at Avalon, yeah. when you walked into the club in the lobby, they had a go-go dancer on this life-sized unicorn. Oh, really? So when you walked into good. the club, it was like, there she was on top of this Most unicorn. Of wow. Yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. And, uh, <laughs> I, I told them, I, you know, for New Year's Eve, uh, unfortunately, you know, I didn't have a grand entrance. I started when the doors opened, but I would have been cool to, like, have them, like, me riding the unicorn up to the DJ yes. booth. So some maybe pictures, some pictures, next time. Pictures like you riding the unicorn. <laughs> yeah, next, maybe next time at Avalon yeah. we'll have to do something like that. So, uh, um, um, how did you like traveling? It's one distance between all the places? Yeah, you so. get used to it. I mean, that's the part that I don't like about the job. Yeah. You know, it's uh, um, like, I re to be honest with you, when I, I got to L.A., I think two days before uh, yeah, the gig, right. so I really got a chance to kind of catch my breath and, yeah. and uh, you know, the, the hotel is right next door to the club, so it was, it, it was just really easy and simple, and I loved it, you know, and, and uh, I think the biggest thing about, uh, about this whole thing is, is the travel. It just it, it wears on yeah. you. And there's really no uh, secret to to making it work. You yeah. just have to you just have to do it. Yes. And I think that's what um, separates uh, you know the <laughs> the men from the boys. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you need to like we said always uh, or disco nap. <laughs> yeah, the disco naps are important. <laughs> yes, and uh, you know, uh, last time you played in Germany on a cooking club, and yeah. are you going to play there? Almost. Uh, well, Cocoon South. Club is not uh, open I, anymore. I, I know, uh, but, but uh, in other clubs in your home. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I hope so. The thing that I uh, I think that Germany is, you know, traditionally Germany has always been like this underground techno y sound. Yeah. But I think this new generation of, of clubbers are coming up. And to be honest with you, I feel that they are hungry for something more. Yeah. And, um, you know, I felt that at Nature One this year. Yeah. I felt that at Cocoon yeah, as well. I feel that uh, they're really looking for something, uh, yeah. you know, the, this new generation looking for something a little more bigger and, and more uh, full. Um, so I hope that, um, you know, we can continue growing, um, you know, the sound in Germany and, and the... the uh, and from those two gigs alone, just from Nature One and Cocoon, mm -hmm. I think that, uh, you know, that... I want to spend some more time in Germany for sure. Um, you you will play in Nature One this year again? Yeah? Uh, well, I don't know yet. No, I mean, no, it's still uh, the I beginning of the year, but <laughs> okay. uh, it's one of the gigs that I look forward to every year. Okay. So I really, really because hope that uh, that I get yeah. to play. You have they are big support because when I was there in first row, holding yeah. my flag, just look at look at look the other side. And whenever I see it, I sign with sign with the welcome home mark. Is awesome yeah. Whenever I whenever I see the the signs like that, it always makes me like relax and feel comfortable like okay oh, all right here we yeah. go really yeah that is oh so uh, awesome uh 
your uh, SMG, like short music group uh, company uh, or group, uh, are going uh, to uh, uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, are going to make a bigger with some new talent or? Something? Yeah, you know, we want to expand it, but I, I think that um, I want to find people that kind of have the same mindset that mm -hmm. are, uh, um, you know, the, the thing, we started it just to, to kind of help some guys out that, uh, you know, like, um, we can only, you can only do so much as a record label, mm -hmm. um, but when you uh, help manage them, then you can really, you, you can do more things to help them along, help mm -hmm. them along in their career. And, uh, you know, I've said this many times, it's like I've accomplished more than I ever thought I would uh, in this business uh, with my career. And uh, I want to help some other guys, some younger guys kind of, uh, you know, realize Coma. their dreams. And uh, well, I think Coma is, a, you know, an exceptional talent. Yeah. And, um, you know, it just took somebody to kind of like bring him from Colombia yes. and... And expose him to the world and, and give him the opportunity. The world and yeah, and no, he's he's gonna I, he's no growing way. every every uh, gig that he's been doing. You know, I heard yeah. the the promoters contact me after, and they're like, "Wow, this guy is and crazy." I, almost every track he did is so yeah. so banging track. So. Yeah, he bangs it for sure. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, your last new world compilation is from 2009, I think, if I'm good remember. But but uh, you, now you. Uh, and I'm going to back to this. Uh, oh, the uh, the world tour. The world tour compilation. Yeah, um, yeah. You know what? Uh, we did it in 2009, and we really thought it was a great idea. Um, but we had so many things going on with the Dakota albums, and then the the, the Prague and the and the uh, Los Angeles yeah. albums. So we we really couldn't we didn't find room, you know. And um, and I think that since we released this Scream album earlier in the summer, um, I think. Uh, you know, it was a good idea to release. A, it was perfect opportunity. We had like a hole in in the yeah. schedule, and and I hope that uh, next year we'll be able to do it again and the year after, because okay. um, I really like the idea of, you know, diff the the crowds from yeah. all over the world united on one CD. You know, yeah. it's like uh, when you listen to it, you can hear the difference yeah. in the in the crowds' uh, voices yeah. sometimes, and it, it's it's, it's really cool. Uh, okay, okay. Um, uh, uh, what about the new city compilation? Are, are you yeah, we're gonna city. Or? We got a new city, uh, yeah. and uh, I'll be uh, making that announcement uh, pretty soon, actually. Yeah. Um, oh. And uh, uh, there's uh, there's some amazing cities that I really want to feature and highlight, but uh, you know you can only do one uh, yeah. per year. So um, yeah. I think that you know I, I to be honest with you, there's still uh, I'm still tossing up the idea yeah. between three yeah. different ones. Seriously. So I think that. Uh, um, you know, if, if maybe people can uh, still persuade me to... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hope it will be in Europe because I want to go for a release party. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, so, and, and uh, for, for the last thing, and any special message for Czech Friends family? Yeah, you know what, you guys have... Uh, you guys have all been so supportive and been there for me since uh, since the very beginning, and uh, you know I've I've told the world about you guys and how amazing the the scene is here in Prague. So thank you for all your support and uh, and I love you guys. Thank you. Okay. Great. And I'll.